Bazinga, my fellow Big Bang Theory and by extension, <laughs> young Sheldon enthusiasts. Now the first episode of the seventh season dropped and uh, it's not out on Amazon Prime in India yet. But I just thought that I will share my uh, takeaways or rather my thoughts about young Sheldon, the previous six seasons and specifically the sixth season with you uh, as we, you know, energize ourselves in Star Trek lingo to watch the seventh season. So one of the things that I noticed was that uh, in one of the episodes of season six, Sheldon is actually looking for a comic in which Doom Patrol and Suicide Squad both appear together for the first time. Now Doom Patrol is another series that is on Prime, at least in India, and it's mind-bonglingly uh, zany. You know, it's very weird, very uh, out of the normal superhero experience series. And you should definitely give it a try. But be warned, it's not for kids. It's not for children. Yes. But Young Sheldon is totally something that you can watch with family. And leave that wire alone, beta. Hey, Advitya, leave that wire alone. Okay, so after that Pink Floyd shout out, I would uh, like to say that uh, Ed Begley Jr. who plays Dr. Linklater in this uh, series, Young Sheldon, uh, he played a very major character in Six Feet Under, which is another very, very morbid series, a very dark, uh, surreal, but at the same time very poignant uh, series. And I think uh, that it's a very nice spiral to have uh, a person who played a very pivotal character in that series play a very uh, comedic yet very serious character of a tenured professor uh, in Young Sheldon. He acts as one of the mentors, although rather unwilling mentor <laughs> of Young Sheldon. And the other is of course uh, Wallace Shawn, uh, Dr. Sturgis I think is his character's name. So these veteran actors have brought a lot of uh, good humor to young Sheldon. Uh, then there is, of course, uh, Annie Potts, who plays Mimo. Uh, very nicely played role, by the way. And uh, Achoo, bless you. <laughs> okay, so one thing I like about young Sheldon is that you don't need to know anything about the Big Bang Theory to enjoy it. But at the same time, if you enjoyed the Big Bang Theory, do tell me which was your favorite character. Because I think that's one of the appeals of the Big Bang Theory. There are five main characters, the four physicists and uh, of course Lady Kuoko, who I saw recently in a movie called Role Play, uh, in which she's taking that uh, the flight attendant character type role, you know, to a sort of action extreme. Uh, not that she was a full-fledged spy in the <laughs> flight attendant, but the way that they showed her uh, subconscious mind talking to, you know, different various personas of herself, that is not a very accurate uh, depiction of people who don't have, you know, personality disorder, multiple personality disorder or something, which reminds me of Fight Club. But uh, also about, uh, you know, how we have an internal monologue uh, sorry, not a mo it's not monologue if there are different people saying it. But we do converse with ourselves sometimes and uh, it was a nice uh, way of depicting that. Okay, but uh, let's leave Lady Kuoko aside. And uh, I was saying that the five lead characters cover such a huge range of stereotypes that it becomes easy for us to either relate to one of the characters or want to become like them. Right. And uh, that is one of the draws of uh, sitcoms because, you know, like Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men. I mean, every creative person in the music industry would want to have a you know, career like that. Why are you eating plastic? Don't eat it. Don't eat the remote. Thank you. Thank you. OK, you want it? No. OK, she's done for now with the remote. Otherwise, she's totally into the magic wand that controls that big screen over there. Uh, trip. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'll just say live long and prosper this way <laughs> or this way, either way. Uh, you know, when I was in school, people used to say, uh, you know, can you do this? I think it's, it takes a little bit of practice, but it's all muscle memory, you know, that's all there is. Anyway, uh, that brings me to Chuck Lor. Chuck Lorre is <laughs> uh, an oddity 
uh, you know but in the in any case uh, you know the sitcoms that he has made uh, have brought uh, brought him money and brought us laughs so i guess that's his job well done ha huh. take it take it take it, take it. <laughs> all right and uh, because i was talking about charlie sheen a little while ago uh, charlie sheen plays a major uh, you know not a major character but he is part of uh, being john malkovich and being john malkovich was another very heady movie literally <laughs> if you haven't seen it check it out uh, read about it it's got uh, john cusack i think yeah and uh, a very nicely made movie you know it is uh it reminds me also of eternal sunshine of the spotless mind with uh, jim carrey in one of his rare uh you know serious roles the other of course being the truman show so all these uh cynic doshe movies which reminds me of cynic doshe new york which was another uh, philip seymour hoffman movie that was uh, i guess a bit of a uh, a bit of a slow movie but uh, you know if you watch it through the payoff is awesome max because it gives you a lot of food for thought which is after all what uh, evolved humans <laughs> should look for uh, once the basic needs are met and we appreciate our privilege in having the means and methods to bring up baby yes mm. yeah mm. hmm mm. okay mm. go mm. Mm. bye kar do bye <laughs> all right so i guess uh, that was what uh, sparked off my thought process uh, the seventh season of young sheldon coming out looking forward to it being available in india maybe on a bit of a delay a few days or maybe whenever it is uh, i'm sure uh, it'll be fun to watch do share what you think about uh, sitcoms about life the universe and everything which is a shout out to hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy by douglas adams which leads me to give a shout out to project bibliotherapy Uh, I think they are at the Delhi Book Fair. It's still going on for another couple of days. Do check out my book, A Life Afloat. It's uh, at the Khareedo Becho stall in Hall Five, stall or booth number C zero five, if I remember correctly, according to what Mr. Prohit from Right India Publishers told me. And after this ranting video, uh, I have to end by saying that the India England Test is poised very nicely. So let's see what happens tomorrow and uh, third day is often called the moving day of a test so let's see how much the scales move in which teams favor uh that's it i guess i don't have anything else uh earmark for this video so i'll just go on a bit of a ramble and say would you like to say something kuch bologi bolo kya chahiye ha bolo ha हाँ बोला बोला हम्म सो वी आर दी अक्षर दिस इज अद्वित्या आई एम आराध्य इफ यू नेवर सीन एनी ऑफ आर वीडियोज बिफोर प्लीज फील फ्री एंड एंजॉय इट टू द मैक्स दैट्स इट आई गेस स्मैश दैट सब बटन फॉर ऑल सम मैक्स फन एज आई ऑलवेज से बिकॉज लाइफ इज अनप्रडिक्टेबल एंड द पास्ट इज हिस्ट्री द फ्यूचर इज अ मिस्ट्री थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग